Hey there, and welcome to CFI Board Notes. My name is Mikhail Francia, and we just wanted to show you a small peek into one of the projects we've been doing. And uh, this would be the 152 and U. So it's essentially a quick primer into how we see the 152 system. Obviously, we have the POH, which is going to be your formal resource when finding out about you know, specific things about the aircraft. But we were thinking about a way to simplify the whole thing for somebody who's not really used to the terminologies yet. Okay, so uh, yeah, as you can see here, we've gone over most of the systems, actually all the systems. And we will start off first with essentially what you guys really have to know for the uh, pre-flight or even before you get onto the plane and start flying. All right. So we're going to be dividing it over into the basic parts that we have. You will see the lights, knowing which specific lights are which. We have the vents, essentially the holes where we can gather air from the outside and what they're going to be used for. You have your antennas, so just really finding out what all the bits sticking out are, what they're called and where you can find them. And a very, very basic look with the cockpit and knowing really what to expect when you get inside. So we will start off first with the parts of the plane. Just go with basic airplane familiarization. There you go. So as you can see here, there will be the uh, primary flight controls, which are the ones all in blue. We'll go over that later, as well as the red, which are the secondary flight controls. But I want to divide this whole thing over into two things. Right. You have your empennage which consists of your trim tab, which is this tiny bit over here. You have your rudder, which is this area. And you have your elevator. We will release a video later on to explain what these are for. That would be the empennage. Now we have the fuselage, which is essentially everything that's past that line. And that comprises of the wing, obviously. You will have the cockpit over here, which is where you're going to be at, where you will keep the baggage. You have the power plant which is the, it's the fancy way of saying the engine, the engine of the plane. You will have your propeller over here, obviously. Landing gear, you have one here, you have one here, and you have another one here, the wheels. And going back to the flight controls, we have the aileron over here, as well as the flaps. So just on a basic view, when you look at the plane, at least you'll be able to know which is which. Second thing you want to go over would be the lights. Okay, so there's a lot of confusion as to where, which lights are located where, especially when we're pressing the buttons on the inside of the cockpit. But the beacon, which is going to be these blinking red light over by the back of the plane, it's this point over here. You have your strobe lights, which also blink, but these are white, very bright lights, and they're located at the wingtips. And you have your nav lights. Nav lights are a bit special because the right one is always going to be the green and the one on the left wing will be red. This helps with navigation, especially during at night. And you have your taxi slash landing light. Now, depending on which 152 you get, it could either be here or here, but generally what it does is it allows you to see right ahead of you. So those are all the lights. Next, we have the vents, which are the uh, holes where you can gather air coming in for various uses, various purposes. And we're going to start off first with the cabin air, which is going to be uh, these two things over here that allows you to get air inside the cockpit. You have starting over with the front of the plane. We're going to have the engine intake over here. So that's the air coming in through over to the engine. And there's a tiny exhaust over by the bottom. Going back as a note to the engine intake, you can either have it over here or right behind the propeller, depending on, once again, what kind of 152 you have. You have a carb heat intake that's coming over onto the right side, as well as the cabin heat intake, right? So the idea there is to get air coming in through this general area, and how it heats it up is that it passes through the hot engine, if we're really going to simplify it. And over on the left side, there are two very important parts, which is going to be the static port over here, 
and you have the pitot tube, which is going to be the small mechanism. You also have the avionics cooling, which passes on through behind your six pack. Uh, with most of the things that need to be explained, there will be future videos. So you can go ahead and check those out. And this one is, you know, a lot of people get confused with this, especially during the student pilot license part, but you'd be surprised. Some people who already have their license tend to forget about it right after. So these are the antennas. We have the VOR here. And the way I memorize it is that, or the way I remind myself is that it kind of looks like a V since there are two antennas. Over in the top, you have the GPS, which is going to be this uh, round, small, compact plastic thing. And that's almost always located on top. Over by the back, you have your comms and you have your ELT. And uh, you have your ADSB over by the bottom and your transponder over by the bottom. The reason why we have these in the bottom is because the signal that it needs to get into is located via ground, uh, ground stations. While the ELT, especially if you crash and the bottom part of your plane is stuck in the ground, this ELT can still send the signal out. And I know it could get a bit complicated, but I want you to take a look over the cockpit right now. So the main thing that a lot of your CFIs will be asking you would be with the six pack. And the six pack is essentially this area over here where you have six main dials. All right, this is what's going to help you fly. Airspeed indicator, you have your attitude indicator, you have your altimeter, essentially your vertical, yeah, your altimeter. You have your VSI here, which is a vertical speed indicator. You have the uh, directional gyro over in this area and the turn coordinator. There will be another dial over here called the CDI or the course deviation indicator. And you'd come across that, especially when it comes to VOR navigation. If we're going to be moving over onto the right, you have your transponder here where you can put your transponder code. You have a Garmin unit, which is usually used for navigation. For this one, it's a 650. You have your tachometer, which we use for RPMs, figuring out the engine output. We have the ELT switch over here. We have the ammeter to find out your alternator output. We have the Hobbs meter, and we have some avionics switches over here. Down here, we can control the flap switches. The mixture knob is over here, and you have your throttle. There will also be a third knob, which is going to be the carp heat. You also pull that back and in, depending on the use. Going down bottom, we have your trim wheel, trim wheel, which is very useful for cruise and for stabilizing your flight. You also have your light switches over in this area. Here, you have the normal rudder or brake pedals, you have the basic yoke, and you have the master switch over in this part. You also have the ignition switch in this area. So we're not really going over into the specific parts of this section, but it really is just used as a basic overview. So before you do your pre-flight, before you, you know, start learning how to fly the plane itself, it will be best if you know what specific parts are in the plane, right? That's why you don't get really surprised. And this is going to come in especially useful before your check ride, right? Because um, with all the other things you're going to be studying, it's going to be very easy to forget what specific parts are. And um, just come across a book as a quick reference, just in case you're missing something, maybe right before the check ride, or maybe before the pre-flight portion. And uh, just give it a quick review. All right, so uh, if you have any questions, just go drop a comment and um, yeah, go over to see if I for the book if you wanna give it a quick checkout.